I know why you're here. Shawty got them bands. Hey, all this ice I cannot stand. Dang, it's something boys don't understand. Hey, I flip a pack a hundred band. Hey, look. Hey creators, welcome back to my channel. And if you guys are new here and you're looking for a channel that will help you to create a timeless design aesthetic, subscribe. Join the gang, join the creator crew. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I'll leave all the links for everything down below, including the dupes for all the items that I find for you guys. And let's just jump right into this video. All right, so the first step in preparation for your bookshelves, besides clearing your bookshelf down and out, even if you already have pre-existing items on there that you love and you love the way it's styled, when you wanna redecorate your bookshelf, clear the whole thing down, start from scratch. And my next tip is to get inspiration. If you're looking for the Restoration Hardware Vibe, you can go to their online catalog or actually go in store, take some pictures, so you have something to reference so you guys can know what color scheme you're going for because you want to pick three to four colors that will all flow and you can interchange and shop your home. You probably already have pieces that you don't use that are in storage that look better in a different room. So definitely shop your home. Keep your receipts for absolutely everything. That's a tip for anything. And if you're gonna buy at stores that are really expensive that you cannot return from, buy last. Make sure you buy your big substantial pieces and then maybe add a touch of pieces here and there. Well, I got these bookshelves from Facebook Marketplace. They were $100 for four of them and they're originally from Ikea. I found the perfect dupe for you guys on Target's website. And just click the link in the bio if you guys want to check it out. It's a lot cheaper than what you would get at Ikea. And you can actually buy two to three of these and just push them together. I love them so much because I wanted something really dark and substantial. You guys know how I feel about that word. I use it all the time, but I really wanted something that was going to make any decor pop. I wanted to use light decor in this house so black bookshelves really give you that pop and it was such an affordable price if you guys want to see a facebook marketplace video leave some comments below so i can know you guys are interested all right so after you prepared your bookshelf you cleared it all out you did all that you got your inspiration picks you want to place the larger items on your bookshelf first this will let you know where you want to put your items and see how everything flows and if everything even goes together and what else you need to buy. Don't forget to take photos of your work along the way because you want to see how close you're actually getting to your inspiration pictures and to see how it looks on camera because that is the biggest tell. It might look really good to your eye in person, but you also want it to translate well on camera. If you guys are looking to nail that restoration hardware look, make sure you guys are using substantial pieces on your bookshelf. They really love really oversized, simple pieces on their bookshelves and also add global decor. They have a lot of antique looking items and global decor that gives you that lived in timeless look that we're looking for and also add a couple of fabric books that are cream or off white. If you can't do that, just turn one of your books that you have inside out it will give you that clean line that they have i was actually able to find a dupe for you guys on these linen fabric books that are very restoration hardware vibes remember if you're gonna put coffee table books on your bookshelf do them in clusters they tend to do them in clusters and they tend to keep their bookshelves pretty simple very minimal so maybe one to two items per shelf and zoom out to see how it's looking and go back to your reference pictures from Restoration Hardware. So after you place your larger items on the shelf and you see how symmetrical it is and you see how everything is flowing, you wanna add coffee table books. 
This is my favorite part because I finally get to place my Tom Ford book in a home. You guys know it was in the dining room, in the dining room reveal video, which I'll link below if you guys haven't seen my dining room reveal video. It has changed a lot, but check it out. And yeah, that book, I feel like I want to put it in every room, but apparently you, you, you can't do that. Like we're not going to get into it. It can't be done. This first book is the Architectural Digest book. And I'm gonna leave a link for you guys. I love this book so much because of um, the color of the linen fabric on it. It's very RH. I'm gonna put this under the crystal. Just like that. And the next book I'm gonna add is this Marc Jacobs book that I hauled from Home Goods, and this one I think was about thirty dollars. And I'm gonna put it underneath the paper mache book. Unlike the Tom Ford book, you can never have too many paper mache bowls. I feel like they're a great decorative accent to add to every single room, on top of bookshelves, on top of credenzas. They are absolutely perfect. I found a dupe for the one that I got at Westside Marketplace on Wayfair, and they actually have them in a set of three. If you guys want to see how I created these DIY linen books, just leave a comment below. And I'm going to put it on a bookshelf by itself. <sighs> I love this book so much. I'm going to put it here. This book is an absolute statement. And like I said, you guys, you have to stack books on top of each other. So I have the Inspired Home coffee table book. And then I have the Vogue on Location book. And I actually just took the covers off of these books because I feel like the fabric on the under part of the book looks a lot better than the cover itself so that's a good tip take off the covers if you guys don't love the cover of the book because it might reveal the perfect fabric color so i have a set of these books that i actually thrifted from goodwill and these are very restoration hardware vibes they're just white and the trick is I'm gonna give you guys a quick DIY you're gonna be amazed it's so simple like it's it's great so you basically take the book cover and flip it on the outside and then boom you have a plain white book that will give you the restoration hardware vibes for a fraction of the price it's literally 99 cents for these books. And one of these books actually fell over and I like the way that it looked. So I'm just gonna tip it over like so. And this is what adds visual interest. It's perfect. And this will eliminate the need for bookends, which I will end up getting. There's a lot of items that I want to add to this bookshelf. This is just the rough draft of it. And if you guys saw my last haul, I got these marble chain links. And I do have the dupe for them from, I think, CB2 for a really good price. If you guys want to buy these, these are the perfect touch to add just another piece of visual interest. So I'm just going to rest it off the book, just like that. And then I'm going to add this geode that I got from Home Goods, and I think it was $69, but it was worth it. It's so huge and so substantial. So I'm just going to put this right next to Then I have this vessel that I picked up from Westside Market. I love the etching on it. I love how aged and traveled this piece looks. 
and I'm gonna place it right next to this vessel. And the last thing that you guys wanna add are your little accessories. I don't have a lot of accessories yet, but I'll take you guys along when I go accessory shopping. I'm just gonna throw these beads into this bowl. There's no real placement to it, just let it hang off. And this is how the bookshelf is looking. What do you guys think of it? I absolutely love it. Like I said, this is my first mock-up of what my bookshelf will look like. There's gonna be a lot of tweaks and maybe I'll change out a couple pieces because I'm not married to any idea. I'm not married to anything in this house. It will be replaced if it needs to be, so yeah. All right, creators, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you at least took one tip away from this video. Don't forget to leave in the comment section below what your favorite piece is on the bookshelf and what your design style is. If you're not into restoration hardware, what are you into? I would love to know. So leave a comment below and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and tell a friend about my channel. Let's get into the decor together. I'm so excited to be at 3,000 subscribers. Like, I can't believe it. But I want to thank you guys so much for all your support and just being amazing. Like, I love you guys so much. And I'll see you next video. Bye!